Today we're doing bone-in chicken thighs. I'm getting two thighs per, per uh, pint jar. So I'm going to load these and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got our chicken thighs in our jars. We're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. We're going to wipe our rims. We're going to put our lids and our rings on and get them in the canner. These are bone in. They're cold packed. So our chicken is raw. We're going to clean the jar tops. You don't have to put salt in your chicken if you don't want to. It just flavors it. It doesn't help with the canning process. We're putting our lids on finger tight. And I'll be back. Okay. We've got our jars in the canner. We're using pint jars. So we're going to process for 65 minutes. We've got our water in our canner. We're going to put our lid on our canner and start the fire. Okay. Our vent is venting. I don't know if you can see it, but there is steam coming out of it. We're going to process these for 65 minutes because they have the bone in and we're doing pints. So we will come back when our 10 minutes is up because we've got to let this steam for 10 minutes and we'll be back. Okay. Our vent has been venting for 10 minutes. We're going to put our weight on. We're going to wait for the weight to start jiggling. Then we will time for 65 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, our jiggler has started jiggling. We've turned the heat down just a little bit and I'm going to start the timer for 65 minutes. And we'll be back when it's done. Okay, our timer has gone off. We have processed these for 65 minutes. Now we're going to turn the heat off and let the canner come down to normal temperature by itself. We'll be back. Okay, we've let it sit here for about 5 minutes. We're going to take our product out, and I'll be back in just a minute to show it to you. Okay, there's our chicken. Isn't it pretty? Well, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and leave a comment if you'd like. See you later, sweetie. Bye.